I don't like manuals, like straight manuals. Manuals are boring. There's no reason I need to see a manual. And I don't like handrails at a skate park. So when you combine those two things, and you basically did a manual down that handrail in the form of a frontside 5.0, it's the most boring, easy, and unappealing trick to see in a skate park clip. I don't even know why there's a handrail at a skate park, honestly. Um, does anyone need help walking up those pointless stairs? I don't know. I guess they put that obstacle in there for assholes like you to do showboat tricks to uncaring teenagers and bitter old men like myself. Okay, this inward heel flip shit has gone too far. It's a good looking trick. <clears throat> it's unique. It's way better looking than a pressure flip. But I hold Wade Disarmo's switch inward heel flip over a picnic table as the gold standard. If you're not really doing them like that, or if you're not catching your tricks, I'm not really interested. So, your inward heel flip over that hip, though, indeed, an inward heel flip fucking sucked. What's interesting about this clip is not your outfit. Your outfit's actually the most boring thing because people's insecurity being performed in the form of a costume, like overalls and a headband or a bandana, that's just boring. That's what everyone goes through. The interesting thing is your clenched jaw. Your clenched jaw bespeaks a fundamental and profound insecurity about who you are as a person. And trust me, that's an important emotion to feel because you look idiotic. You look insane. And you're a decent skateboarder, and I like that front side nose grind shove it. That's a rare trick. But you must hate yourself, because you look totally fucking crazy in that outfit, with that clenched jaw. I don't understand it. <clears throat> you seem like a good skater. I like your style, good trick choice. So I'm not sure why you're skulking around the perimeter of the park like a pervert. But I suspect it has something to do with that ridiculous hat you're wearing. That was so sick. This weekend I filmed a little line that culminated with a switch backside smith. And I was really hoping that Jamie at Transworlds could get Kenny Anderson to review it. He was skating with Elias and Jack Zaback, two friends of mine. But no, that didn't happen. So in spite of the fact that I think of Kenny Anderson nearly every time I do a switch backside smith, Kenny Anderson doesn't think of me. And this may seem like a lackluster 90s pro story, but look at the clip that I have to comment on. <laughs> 